Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Piston Stager rocket from U.S. Rockets, and I wanted to explain it a little bit in case you're interested in buying it. As you can see, it's a two-stage rocket. Um, down here we have the bottom stage, and up here is the top stage. What's unique about it is in the middle is a piston. Now the purpose of the piston is to kick the top end off quickly um, so that it goes higher and faster. Um, and you can see if I pull it out slowly, you can see the piston expand. So basically what's in here is a bulkhead with this tube attached to it, and it slides forward and aft. Um, and as it fills up with gas, it pushes it forward. When it gets to its full extension, it will pop off and kick the top in higher. Um, now, the instructions for this rocket don't come with helpful hints on how to set up the ignition of this top stage uh, motor. Uh, let me pull it apart here and I'll show you what I did. Um, so here is the, the two, the important part here. Um, the top stage is pretty, pretty basic. Um, you'll have your rocket motor down here and the igniter will go into there like that, but you'll need to ignite that electronically and I'm going to use the perfect flight timer and it's set at three seconds so from the ignition of the bottom stage that's when it starts timing so it starts timing at liftoff um, and then at, after three seconds it fires off the electronics now the instructions don't say where to put the electronics um, before you build the rocket um, you're going to have this coupler here, and I didn't glue that in because that's where I'm going to put my electronics. And inside here, this is the piston. It just slides in and out like that. Um, so I'll put that aside. I'll put that aside for right now. So the electronics, what I did is I just took a, the coupler, um, and this is the way the coupler will come. And the only thing that the kit didn't come with is an extra bulkhead. So I had to cut um, two pieces of plywood and I glued them together so that it makes a little cap. And to keep the cap on, I just took some um, wood blocks and I glued them on the inside. And then I just uh, ran a tap through there to hold the screw like that. So that when I put it on, I just rotate it around and the screws will go into those blocks and hold it on. Um, now the electronics will go through the hole like this. So my igniter is going to be attached to there. And there's really um, nothing that holds it in here except for some blocks of foam and that will work just fine. It doesn't have to be, you know, rock solid in there. So I just lay it along the side, put my foam blocks in there. And then I'll put the cap on. And then there's another screw right here. You get how that goes. So you just screw it together. Um, and then that's going to go in through the tube. Now you can see I did put one little vent hole um, right here and that's so that you can hear the beeper inside to let you know that your timer is turned on. Um, and then also I have friction fit on that coupler but I'm not going to trust the friction fit so what I went ahead and did is I used a little bit these uh, nylon shear pins um, and you can also just use these to hold the rocket together. And the only purpose of this is to make sure that that coupler doesn't come out during flight. So I've got two little screws. Here's one. Okay, so that keeps the coupler from pulling out. And then I do have the one little vent hole that's I was talking about here just to let the sound out. Okay, so then this will run through the piston. Uh, 
Okay, it's so like this, and then I'm going to put a piece of tape around here to hold this on. And so this will be attached by the shock cord to the bottom. So that this all comes down as one piece. And then I'll just attach my igniter this way. I'll just wrap it around and then put some tape over it so that the igniter is ready to go. And that's how I'm going to launch it. Okay, this is a two stage. Two stage. A G to a C. A C. Five, four, three, two, one.